big group of guys working out, a big group of guys that are, are high level prospects. What's it like to be going through this with a bunch of guys who, who've been your teammates? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I've been down in Tampa, so I've been far away from them. You know, it's good to see them. Good to be back working out, playing football together, what we do love. So, you know, I was the last last time I actually like playing together. So, you know, it was good. You know, I soaked the moment in and I'm gonna enjoy it. What goes into adding 11 pounds back like you wanted to? I mean, yeah. you said back in Mobile, that was the goal, but yeah. to do it, man, like 11 pounds in four weeks is mm -hmm. a lot. Yeah. I mean, it's just shout out to my trainers down in Tampa, house athletes, uh, meal planning, meal prepping, the, you know, just got started from the McDonald's, but, you know, the healthy foods to get your body weight back up. Uh, just a lot of four meals a day, a lot of protein shakes. Uh, going to Mobile, I was sick, so, you know, 272. I, I, wasn't, too, I wasn't that way since COVID year, so. I wasn't happy with that, so my, really it was just focusing on nutrition and just make sure I eat like a pro and just prep like a pro. Do you have a target weight that you want to play at the next level? I mean, I'm comfortable right right now. I'm at my, you know, 288 was my playing weight last year, so I'm at 286 this morning. So you know, if I'm around that 25 to 290 range, I'm very comfortable at that. You know, if they need to go up, I can go up to 295. But if somebody wants me at 300, I ain't playing. I can't. I can't do that, man. I'm sorry. They like you inside though, as if you're if you're looking to play in the two nineties. Like yeah, inside. I mean I, every team's been different. You know, a couple of teams like me at edge. Some teams like me inside. Some teams like my flexibility to play both inside and out. So you know, this thing had a good good amount of weight just to play inside. That's and then that's why I want to play too. So yeah. What's uh, stood out to you about this process? Has anything sort of surprised you just going into this uh, draft? Uh, just a lot of waiting around, sitting around. You know. It's not my, I, I don't really like that because, you know, I like just playing football, you know, and get, being active. But, you know, this process has taught me just to be patient, you know, trust trust your training, you know. It's, when you get moments like this, it's quiet, you know, got a lot of eyes on you. But, you know, you just got to know you're built for this. You know, I've been doing this for five years. So, you know, I feel very comfortable out here. You know, I've been having a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. Crazy, that sort of pressure that exists, obviously, like 30 yeah. teams here. Yeah, so, like, the combine, you know, 40-yard dash, you know, it's pitch quiet. So, you know, it was different. You know, your mind went blank. So you just got to remember you got to fall back to your training. What formals did you have at the combine? So you, formals? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Shoot. It was a lot, but, like, what I remember, it was Buffalo, Dallas, uh, Detroit, Washington, Minnesota. I know that's from the top of my head. Mm -hmm. you think of those five years, Brian. You multiple DCs, yeah. position coaches, head coaches, yeah. came here for Gmon, he was gone quick. Yeah. You made a lot of sacrifice yeah. that a lot of these people don't know about. Mm -hmm. How do you sum it up? I mean, it's been a journey, it's been tough. And I came in three star, one of the lowest rated kids. So I came in, with, I had a chip on my shoulder. I feel like I had a lot to prove to these kids, you know, four stars, five stars, the best on their team. So, you know, just surrounding myself with dudes who are, who are already good like that, you know, I, I feel like they brought the best out of me. I feel like this is the best choice of my life to come here. You know, came with my teammate. He left early. So, you know, it's hard just being out here by myself, you know, just had to connect with some new guys. And, you know, we built a brotherhood that I will never forget. You know, these guys are going to be at my wedding. And, you know, we're going to be friends for who knows how long. So, you know, I've been blessed, you know, had my kid out here two years ago. So his birthday about to come up next month. So I'm happy, you know, I'm glad I came out here. Do you feel like, you know, having that NFL Combine experience made things less nervous for you today? Or was it just being back in Eugene, combination of both? What do you feel like? I feel like it's a combination of both. You know, for sure, the Combine prepped me for being more relaxed out here. You know, I feel like the, going into the Combine, I was more antsy, more, had more anxiety going in because you never know what you're going to expect. But, you know, for sure, being back here, too, being around your guys and being back in your building where you've been working out for five years, it's for sure felt amazing. You know, for sure, I, I felt way more calmer out here, you know. I, Dudes are asking me questions like, hey, how, you know, what, what you know what to expect? I'm like, I don't know what to expect. It's pro day. So I just told him, you got to relax, ease my ass football at the end of the day, have fun with it. So that's the, the thing going to it. How impressive is Casey's athletic testing? Yeah. I don't know if nah, I ain't never seen Casey jump like that before. So I don't know. I don't know what he's been doing in Denver. But yeah, he's been, Casey, man, he's a dog. Man. Ever since he came in, you know, he was one of the dudes who have crazy work, work ethic. So, you know, I love Casey. He's going to make it far. You were saying that you guys kind of talked to each other for the last time in the line. What would you guys say to each other? I mean, we just broke it up in our little huddle. You know, we were just talking about, like, hey, at the end of the day, we're always going to be here for each other. It's football. You know, we, we love each other. You know, we made, it's a milestone. It's a dream to, you know, participate in a pro day, go to a combine, you know, be considered to the NFL draft. So just enjoy this process, you know, keep in touch. That's what the real things we talk about. Probably a lot of questions about the D-line group for next year. Yeah. Just a lot of young players. Yeah. What, what, what do you want to tell fans about? 
what this group could be. And there's not going to be no drop off in that D line room. Trust me, man. You know, got guys like Keon with us and Jordan Burge, Baron Roberts, you know, Tion Green. So we got a lot of dudes in that, that, that D line room still. You know, I'm, I'm excited to see what they're going to do. You know, guys got to step up, take the leadership role. And I can't wait to see how that role 